Hello and welcome back to another video where today I'm going to show you how to turn any normal object in GIMP into gold. So this is the photo we will start with, with these lovely roses, and then I turn them into gold using GIMP. So let's get started. This tutorial does assume you have GIMP installed. So, so this is our photo. First thing we're going to do is we're going to duplicate it using the duplicate button. Next thing we're going to do is remove the background. You can either select your lasso tool and by hand click and just with all of the points along the object that you would like. And this may take a while. So basically you just go along an object and then you will close it, the loop up, and then press enter. You then want to add a next loop, so you press shift and then start to select your next object and then you would press you would close that loop and then you would press enter basically until everything you want to turn into gold is left this has a love luckily has a plain white background so I don't need to do that by hand with the lasso tool I can just I can just select my magic wand tool click on the white background and press delete which will then will remove the background now we'll unclick on the eyeball on the bottom image and we'll make sure this does have a transparent alpha channel. There we go, no background. If we want to, we can just then also remove this white here. There we go. It's just cleaning up all of the background that you don't want to turn into gold. As so annoying as this is, it's something you have to do with like all effects when it comes to having to mess around with the hue objects. So for me, just because it's a tutorial, I'm happy with that. If it was for a, a actual project, you would want to spend more time in cleaning that up. So like the f next first thing we're going to do, or the next thing we're going to do, is we're going to go to Colorize, and then we're going to go to... No, we're going to go to Color, and then we're going to go to Desaturate, Desaturate. And we're going to remove the luminosity, luminosity. And then we'll press OK. This will basically grayscale everything. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to clone this layer again. We're going to go to Color. And we're going to go to Invert. We're now going to select the mode from Normal to Difference. And we're going to right click on it. And we're going to press Merge Down. We will now duplicate this again. We will go to Color. We will go to invert, we will right click on this, and then we will also again right click on it and merge it downwards. There we go. We can now show the previous layer just so we have our backdrop. We'll make sure we've got the first one still selected as you can see there. We're now going to go to color, colorize, hue, we're going to drag this down. So there we go, uh, to a gold. So to a goldish colour. And then we're also going to increase the saturation of this. And we just, we're going to do this until we're sort of happy with the colour. So I'm happy with this sort of colour. It's all down to perf uh, personal preference and depending on your object. It may take a few tries. So keep messing around with this until you're happy with something. Then press OK. Still doesn't look quite right. So we're going to go back up to colour. We're going to go to levels, we're going to drag in our black, and we're going to drag in our white, and we're going to move the grey closer to the top. The how much you do this uh, depends on you and the effect you're trying to go for. You may want it that it's been more darker than it more darker than it is bright. You may want so you'd drag this all in. And this is sort of almost giving it more of a bronze look. So let's move this back to the other direction a bit because it should have more of a goldish look. And then when you're happy with that, you can press OK. So here is our new gold object. So this was our original, and now this is our current object. When you're happy with it, you can just then go to File, you can go to Export As, and then choose where you want to save it. So, thank you for watching this video. I am hope you enjoy this video, and I hope you learned something. Please consider liking, maybe subscribing, because I do regular GIMP videos. And I'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye.